Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer, and in today's video, we are going to discuss the number one thing you need to do to boost your carb tolerance. So let's get started. So you may be wondering what carb tolerance is. It's a way to describe your relationship with carbohydrates and how well your body can handle them. So if you have a high carb tolerance, you can eat lots of starchy carbs and not have any issues with fat gain, not have any issues with feeling sluggish, and not have any problems whatsoever cognitively or feeling tired after consuming them. Now, if you are on the lower end of the carb tolerance spectrum, you probably struggle with fat loss you probably feel very tired, bloated, lethargic after consuming them. You may be pre-diabetic, you may be diabetic, you may have a variety of health-related issues as a result of your low carb tolerance levels. Now, if you are on the other end of the spectrum where your carb tolerance is lower and your body does not do very well when you do include starches, but you're fine with vegetables, you're fine with low sugar fruit, you're fine with things in that wheelhouse, but the second you start introducing regular starches, you start having issues. The number one thing you can do, aside of reversing your A1C, aside of you know, if you are on diabetic medication, aside of anything related to glucose management, the number one thing you need to do is to integrate weight training, and here's why. Weight training allows your body to deplete intramuscular glycogen. Glycogen is the stored form of carbohydrates that stays inside of the muscle cells. Weight training is one of the best ways to deplete all of that from your muscles. So if you are weight training and you're sufficiently burning out your muscles and burning through all of that intramuscular glycogen, there is a window after you work out where your body's carb tolerance level actually is elevated and you can handle more starches. You can handle it more so than you would under any other circumstance during the day. And the reason for that is because when the cells are depleted due to exercise, specifically weight training and resistance training, your body has the opportunity to take any carbs that you do consume and have those carbs be absorbed into the muscle cells. That is a very, very, very big deal because under any other circumstances, when your cells are not depleted, those carbs, if not burned up, could potentially be stored as fat, especially for the folks on the lower carbohydrate tolerance spectrum. So if you want to temporarily boost your carb tolerance window and you are on the lower end of the spectrum and you still wanna to try to include starches occasionally, consume them within an hour or so after weight training, maybe two hours tops, but you wanna to try to eat that meal with starches as close to the weight training window as possible. So if you want more information about figuring out your carb tolerance level, about how to eat under a variety of carb tolerance levels, Get my new book, Unlock Your Macro Type. There's a self-assessment quiz, a very detailed self-assessment quiz in here regarding your carb tolerance. It is available for pre-order until March 8th. And if you pre-order, you will get a free gift with that up until March 7th at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So guys, please pick it up. It will be available on Amazon. It's available on audiobook. It's available on ebook. Target, Barnes and Noble, Books A Million, Apple, iStore, anywhere books are sold, you will find it. So check it out, please comment below and I will see you on the next one.